Right, we're recording now. This is a five minute guitar lesson for my brother Stephen down in Florida. This is the timer that we're using today, and we'll use the rest of the sessions as they progress. Um, old Kodak, Eastman Kodak, Dark Room. That, that, and the time is running away from us here. We may go over five minutes, but uh, our goal is five minutes. All right, you started. You, we're just going to play a standard tuning here. Now I'll play through it once, and it's very simple. And it's only really two chord positions. And both are seventh chord positions. And if you recall, D7. But this is an E, and we're, we're not going to start on the root tonic. We're going to start on the, a different chord. But that's that D position, and I will zoom in on that pretty soon so you can see it and recall it. D7 position. And basically what we're doing, I'm going to play through it once so it's pretty easy. And I'm gonna, I've simplified it a bit, and we'll, we'll push it up a little bit to challenge it. first part. Let's zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. Very nice little camera here. Zoom in here. Just a little remote. Okay, how's that look? Pretty good? Okay. You can see that. D position. string, G string, and the B string. Right there, B string. See that? I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I can do that. I have the technology to do that. I just have to pick this position just out of random because I'm inside. But let me see if I can. This is an experiment. So, hold in there. That's the D position. See that there? Okay. Basically, I'm sliding up to the first dot, which is the three frets. So, you're moving, really, you're moving the D7 chord up a whole step. Actually, I'm, actually, I'm going higher than that. Yeah, actually, you're right. So, it's the fourth fret. One, one, two, three, four. But the index finger, which is covering the seventh, is right on that dot, so it's on that side, so it's on the third fret, but the chord is on the fourth fret. Slide it down. Now, this one. And the G, you know, standard E, E chord. And some people play the E7. And bear with me. It's autofocus. E, they drop that uh, 
third finger there and just which is an E7 but what we want to do is pick up with our pinky on the B string right there when I use that chord a oh, hell of a lot in my music Pick it. You can either strum, it, but I'll show you. This. I want you to get to be finger picking. That's where really the fun part of playing guitar. Strum all night and it'd be kind of boring. So I'm pulling all those chords together. Really, just playing three strings there. Bass and the E open. Now let's switch to the uh, let's switch to this. I'm gonna move the camera a little bit so it gets to the body of the guitar here. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, sit up. So what are we doing here? Putting the heel of my hand a little bit on the string to dampen it. Uh oh, change the battery pack, it says. We're still recording. We're well, over at six minutes. Alright, that's ten minute. Renaming this the ten minute guitar lesson. So that's all thumb. So I can go. What it for for starting, I think let's just have you hit it once. Do that. You can do that. Bum, 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 bum. That's the simultaneous. To the E7. Now, what am I doing? I'm putting these pinky. They all just fall in between the strings. Right? You can just try to feel like, just just go ahead and try to press your, you know, just for the feel how it feels to you. You're just really, almost like you're pushing your fingers through that. Just just do that, just see how it feels. But really, it's kind of, you're just riding on that. I'm just pulling. My fingernails are under there. I'm pulling off. You can also do an arpeggio. So that's from the low to the high. Third finger, fourth finger, high E. Well, I pretend like I have a, a pick, really. I'm just on a pick, I'll just, just take my because like I'm running my index finger. All your fingers. So that's that's that particular. We're closing in now, but something else to keep in mind. And I'll move the camera here. I don't have the, the remote that moves it right to left. I don't think on a tripod. That's that would be a, an expensive, more expensive tripod.